hello hello and welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel do please like and subscribe there's a little subscribe button down there and every new posting will then come direct to your door as they say and obviously it helps me as the YouTube owner yeah. so we are here today with Windy and Nautic Luis in Parma to have a look at this rather fabulous Windy Chamel 37 now, I don't know if you're familiar with Windy but they build a fabulous boat and they really do like the attention to detail so let's start the bathing platform beautifully finished in teak now down here we have our swim ladder which is pretty standard again lovely ladder but what isn't standard is normally you come up the swim ladder and there's nothing to grab hold of so they've really cleverly put these two little grab handles down here access up the side here into the berth and then this fantastically vast sun lounging section here now there obviously there is storage underneath here we're not going to lift it all up because of a boat show but there's also a little seat down there so you can sit there and watch the wake trail away and the other thing we, that Windy do brilliantly is grab handles everywhere you go on this boat there is a grab handle so if the boat's going along and bearing in mind that Windy again are known for the quality of their sea keeping hulls so down here we have a little storage locker he says I can work out how to get it out very hard doing this with one hand no. here we go get them in the end so storage locker for some lines and somewhere to drop your fenders and what's really clever is that fender storage drops into the engine bay so those fenders will dry off as the engine warms the engine bay and obviously you've got access to the engine down here this entire backrest section here slides on these runners so at the moment we've got it all the way forwards so it gives us fantastic space here for this lovely dinette which is great but if you want a bit more space aft what you do what's well, really simple you take this unit I won't do it because I say we are at a boat show and that will slide all the way back giving you a big sun lounger area here but with a bump stop so you can stop yourself sliding out the back of the boat storage locker in there for some lines and bits and pieces and also shore access again depending on which boat you buy and what you want to spec it for standard table here but then that comes with an option of a high low table if you want and again it folds out giving you a much larger table over on the port side we have the outside galley this little section here lifts up and you've got a ceramic Bosch hob, lovely deep stainless sink, a bit of stainless on the back there to protect it from the heat. Again, windy seam, fantastically solid grab handle, and then down here, a bit of storage, and a fridge on that side. And also, practicality for windy, this really nifty little pop-up table. So if you want a bit more storage space, that pops up because obviously the moment you open that to cook you've lost a little bit of storage so while we're here actually outside you'll notice there's a quite a decent sized bimini with a frame on both sides at the push of a button you can fold that frame down it motors itself into the tracks down here you lift this section up here you can see where the joint is down there and the hinges there and that whole frame section motors down and drops itself underneath that rear seat absolutely fantastic so you're then left with the beautiful clean lines that you'd expect from windy so moving forward obviously port side here there's a little spare forward facing seat bit of extra storage down there and the patented sort of windy standard bolster seats now obviously this boat is designed to go very quickly in almost any sea state so you need a really good driving position which windy are well known for over here little armrest which is quite nice a bit of storage in there audio controllers this boat comes with Volvo Penta so it's got twin Penta controls benefit of a joystick controller which is always useful and who doesn't like a bow thruster and again practicality of windy so not your usual carling switches but actual proper dip switches but then they're protected so if you knock that switch as you're going along with your leg 
you don't turn something on or off. Nice rain rain glass bridge screen there. Moving forwards here, a couple of steps up, takes you through the windscreen and onto the foredeck. You can see those windows in the foredeck and that teak throwing light down into the cabin. And again, fantastic grab handles the whole way through. Access on the port side here through this sliding door, takes you down into this beautiful little cabin. Little bit of storage down the side here. Two steps down and a third step I suppose drops you in. In the inset here there is standing headroom. So you've got standing headroom up here. Behind us under the cockpit so we have a double berth obviously so the boat show so it's full of show stuff. Little window over there and again you do get light thrown in through the hull windows. And what's also clever, if you've seen this before, but this door section here unpops like one and two and that then folds into here like that if I go forward you'll see it better I think and that closes that whole section off making it a separate self-contained cabin Let's pop that back as we found it because the importance of that is what it then does is it gives that forward berth area there some privacy. So storage under the bed, then the AC unit's under the bed there, there's a secondary fridge down in here. Now we're down below, you can see how much light is being thrown in through those deck windows. You do still get hull windows both sides, and again, windy quality wood and storage right the way through, with lockers everywhere. And again, this is lovely, look at this. Windy crockery and windy glasses. So the last thing to look at before we leave is the heads. Again, the same beautiful finish you'd expect throughout the rest of the boat. Completely separate shower with little teak insets in the seat, self-draining floor, vacuum pump flush loo, and again, hull windows in both sections and it's beautifully moulded sink section. So we'll finish up on deck where we will say thank you very much to Windy and Nautique Louise for letting us have a look around this fabulous Windy 37 Chamel. Thanks for watching, do please like and subscribe and we will see you next time round.